let's solve this tricky math olympiad equation together now when you see this kind of question are you the type that would just say x divided by 2 raised to the power of 6 is equal to 3 to the power of 6 you will just take this away since the powers are the same and you would say x divided by 2 is equal to 3 so you do this and then cross multiply x gives you 6 please don't just be too quick to conclude that x is 6 only no x is not only 6 okay there are other values of x join me as i teach you how to solve this kind of question each time you see it now let's do it together so we are going to begin with solution okay now what do you do remember that each time you have a to the power of m divided by b to the power of m it is the same as a divided by b we have one power now applying this here this is going to give us x to the power of 6 divided by 2 to the power of 6 is equal to 3 to the power of 6 interesting now what do you do again you are going to now have this is over 1 so you can cross multiply i hope you are with me so you have x to the power of 6 we multiply 1 to give you x to the power of 6 is equal to 2 to the power of 6 we multiply 3 to the power of 6 did you see now what do you do again just quickly remember this that for every a to the power of m multiplied by b to the power of m is the same as a multiplied by b will be raised to one power just like this but this is when it's dividing this is when it is multiplying so if you have it this way this is what you do so obeying that to simplify this we are going to have x to the power of 6 is equal to 2 we multiply 3 and is raised to 1 power okay now if you do that you have x to the power of 6 multiply this it gives you 6 and it will be raised to power of 6 so what do we do again just remember that remember this rule of exponent which also says that each time you have a to the power of m will be raised to power of n it means what a to the power of m n did you see that so applying it here let's see what it it gives us this can also be written as x to the power of 3 raised to power of 2 i have not changed anything if i multiply this to obeying this rule it gives me back 6 okay so this is equal to 6 to the power of 3 will be raised to the power of 2 did you see if you multiply this it gives you back 6 so simplifying it from here we are going to have let's block this we have from here x to the power of 3 raised to power of 2 we want to remove this to come to the left side it's positive so you are going to subtract so you subtract 6 to the power of 3 to the power of 2 and when you subtract here it becomes 0 did you see now what do you do this reminds you of what we have as a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b and a minus b we call it difference of two squares now if you look at this carefully you can apply this did you see where this will become our a and this becomes your b so applying this in what you have from here you are going to have x cubed plus 6 cubed okay and then x cubed minus 6 cubed did you see and everything will be equal to zero now what do you do again just know that if these two are equal to zero it simply means that x cubed plus 6 cubed is equal to zero or x cubed minus 6 cubed is also equal to zero did you see so we're going to solve this first and then come back for this now to go for this we are going to have x cubed plus c cubed is equal to zero now remember your sum of two cubes which says that a cubed plus b cubed is equal to a plus b into a squared 
minus AB plus B squared. Did you see? Applying this formula here, we are going to now have our A is 3 and our B is 6. So we have it that this gives us X plus 6, okay? Brackets. This is also X. So we have X squared minus AB means X multiplies 6 to give us 6X. Then B is 6. So we have 6 squared and is equal to 0. Did you see? So simplify again. We are going to have, remember these two are equal to 0. So it means that X plus 6 is equal to 0 or x squared minus 6x plus c squared is 6 times 6 which will give you 36 so we have 36 is equal to 0 you see solve this you subtract 6 from both sides since it's positive so if you do that x will give you add this it gives you negative 6 so we've been able to get one value of x okay now let's solve this observe that this has led you to quadratic because the highest power of x is 2 so what do you do? We are going to use formula. And the formula gives us that x is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Now, your a is the coefficient of x squared. The coefficient of x squared is 1. Okay, For every variable without a number before it is said to have a coefficient of 1. So our a is 1. B is always the coefficient of x, which is negative 6. And your C is the constant, which is 36. Did you see? So we're going to substitute this in the formula. To do it, we are going to now have x is equal to negative in the formula. Remember, your B is negative 6. So you have to be careful to include it in the brackets. Plus or minus square root of our B is negative 6 squared minus 4, we multiply, A is 1, okay, and our C is 36, did you see, everything is divided by 2, multiply, A is 1, so if you simplify, it gives you, X is equal to, you multiply this, it gives you positive 6, plus or minus square root of, this will give us, negative 6 squared gives you 36, okay, then when you multiply this, it gives you negative 144, divided by multiply this it gives you two so simplify again we have x is six plus or minus square root of subtract this it gives us negative one hundred and eight okay and is divided by two now because there is a negative in sign inside the square root it has led us to a complex solution okay so what it means is that x is equal to six plus or minus. Now, to remove this negative sign in the root, it turns towards i. Did you see that? So we're going to now have square root of 108 divided by 2. Did you see? Now, remember that 108 has a perfect square in it, and the perfect square in it is 36. And it means that x will give us 6 plus or minus i square root of 108 has perfect square of 36. And when you multiply 36 by 3, it gives you what? 108. Did you see? And everything will be divided by 2. So simplify again. We have x is equal to 6 plus or minus i. Square root of 36 gives us 6. Then this 3 will remain because it's not perfect. So we're going to have 6 root 3 divided by 2. So simplifying this again, we are going to have x is equal to 6 plus or minus. This will give us 6 root 3i divided by 2, okay? So we're going to have it as x is equal to 6 divided by 2 plus or minus 6 root 3i divided by 2. You are splitting this for the numerators. So this cancels this. You have x is equal to... 3 plus or minus, this cancels this, we have 3 root 3i. Three so this implies that x is equal to 3, take the positive, okay? Then this is the second value of x, and we also have it that x is equal to 3, take the negative, we have 3 root 3i. Three Did you see? So we have gotten three values of x. 
Now remember the, the statement we have as x cube minus six cube is equal to zero. We are going to repeat the same process here, but just remember that this is difference of two cubes, okay? So just quickly remember for every a cubed minus b cube, it is a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared. So we're going to apply this, okay, to help us to solve this. So we're going to now have, this gives us a x, our a is x, our b is 6. So substitute it here, we have x minus 6 and x squared plus 6 times x gives us 6x. Then our b is 6, so we have 6 squared. I hope you are with me, everything is equal to 0. So what do you do again? Just solve again. You have x minus 6 is equal to 0 or x squared plus 6x plus. This gives us that 6 is equal to 0. So add 6 to both sides to remove this. In that case, x will give us, add this, it gives us positive 6. Did you see? We have gotten the fourth value. This is also quadratic. So remember your formula negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac or divided by 2a. So here, quickly, your a is 1, your b is 6, and your c is 36. Plug it into the formula. So we are going to now have x is equal to negative 6 plus or minus square root of 6 squared minus 4. a is 1, c is 36. And everything is divided by 2 multiplied by 1. Did you see? So in that case, x will give us negative 6 plus or minus. This will give us square root of 36 minus 144 divided by 2. So simplify it further. We are having x is equal to negative 6 plus or minus. This gave us square root of negative 108 divided by 2. So we have it that x is negative 6 plus or minus. Remember, for simplifying this, we got 6 root 3i. Did you see that? And it's divided by 2. So we are going to have x is equal to negative 6 over 2 plus or minus 6 root 3i divided by 2. So if you do that, x will give us, this gives you negative 3 plus or minus, this gives us 3 root 3i. So in conclusion, we have it that x is equal to negative 3 plus 3 root 3i. So this is the fifth value of x. And we also have it as x is equal to negative 3 minus 3 root 3i. This is the sixth value of x. Now let's bring all the values of x together to now have. So we have it that the values of x are 6. This is the first value. We also have x is equal to negative 6. We also have x is equal to 3 plus 3 root 3i. We also got x is equal to 3 minus 3 root 3i. And we have also x is equal to negative 3 plus 3 root 3i. Then finally, we have it that x is negative 3, negative 3 root 3i. So these are the six values of x. But just note that these two are real, okay? You find them on the number line. But these ones that involve imaginary units are the ones we call the complex uh, solution. And I hope you have learned a lot today. Let's know how much in the comment. And don't forget to share this so that the algorithm catches it and send to more people that need these skills. If this helps you, let's know how much in the comment. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more tips. See you in the next class to tell you more. Till then, goodbye.